Hey, it's me, Dave. I'm working on a 97 Ford Explorer. Uh, it's got a crooked steering wheel and a loose inner tie rod. If you look at the driver's side tire, the driver's side tire can move back and forth independently of the passenger side. That's because of a loose inner tie rod on the rack and pinion. The inner tie rod is right here. It connects to the rack and pinion inside of the bellows boot. I'm going to shake the tire again, try to watch the bellows boot. You can see that the uh, inner tie rod is loose and it's moving around. Loosen the jam nut first between the outer tie rod and the inner tie rod. That was too easy. Remove the cotter pin from the outer tie rod and then remove the nut. The best way to loosen the outer tie rod from the steering knuckle without damaging the boot is to hit it right here with a hammer. Now to make it a little bit easier on the guy that does the alignment, when I remove the outer tie rod from the inner, I'm going to count the rotations as I remove it. Remove the jam nut from the inner tie rod. The bellows boot has a clamp on the inside and the outside of it. They both need to be removed. It's easier said than done sometimes. The inner clamp on the bellows boot is not reusable, so it has to be damaged to be removed. Now you can twist the bellows boot and slide it off. Now you can see the inside of the inner tie rod has a hex on it. You can put a wrench on that and take it off if you have to, but I prefer to use a different tool. This is an inner tie rod tool. You can fit a half inch ratchet on one end of it. The other end has different adapters like these that you can put in the end of it that will fit the inner tie rods. Put the adapter on, slide this in place, lock it, and spin it off. Compare the old and the new part, make sure you've got the right one. It's got the same threads, same overall length. Make sure you throw away the loose one, keep the tight one. I've applied blue thread locker to the threads of the inside part of the inner tie rod. Now I'm going to reinstall it. There's a vent tube on the bottom of the rack and pinion. It has to be aligned with the hole in the bellows boot. Once you've got your zip tie and your outer clamp in place, you can reinstall the jam nut. Attach the outer tie rod in. Count the revolutions again. Do the same number of turns. Reconnect the outer tie rod into the steering knuckle. Reinstall the nut. Install a new cotter pin. Snug the jam nut, reinstall the wheel, then you're ready for an alignment. 